Uh, just wanted to take it off real quick. When you're doing this, take some videos, um, pictures of how your linkages go together, um, and it, it's really going to help you. The tag on the carburetor, if it's still there, remember, that's important. That's going to tell you what kind of carburetor it is. Um, go ahead and just take your fuel line off. Um, just make sure you're remembering everywhere where it goes. I mean, you don't have to be a mechanic to do this. I've never done a 2100 carburetor. In fact, I've only worked on tractors uh, and uh, oh, garden tractors, etc. So this is my first time. This project turned out great. Runs like a top. This is the first time I have ever worked on a automotive carburetor. Like I said, other than like a lawnmower or a M tractor, something simple like that. Um, so, yes, you are going to be able to do this. Just take some time. And I'm doing all this on a five gallon bucket, okay? We're not talking anything real serious here. The point to this video is that you can do this. Now, there's a lot of variations in Autolite and Ford and uh, Motorcraft, um, the 2100 carburetor series. But the point is, it is so simple. So simple. You can do this. I'm doing this on a five gallon bucket. You can do this. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will be glad and rejoice in it. As soon as you take the carburetor off, remember to cover the intake. Very important. Now this gasket here, I don't know that they gave me a new one in the kit, so we are going to be very careful with that. Now this is what I use, but uh, anything at your local department store, there's probably some that are better than others. I don't know all the details on that. Uh, I guess nor am I uh, really doing a review on that. So um, my carburetor is not going to fit in here, obviously. This particular type has a uh, a system in here which I use quite often for um, carburetors on uh, small engines but as you can see we have a, a somewhat of an issue so I'm gonna go ahead and dump this into a bucket for now a clean bucket at this point here I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen everything up uh, take the carburetor apart put it in the solution and uh, let it soak uh, just about an hour um, don't get too radical just remember how everything came apart. Um, go ahead, just kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, use some cowboy figuring, you're going to make this happen. Um, be very careful on that spring. That spring is not, uh, you cannot buy it again. Um, so just keep it to the side. Don't set the carburetor on top of it or anything like that. Um, the whole idea is to soak it. Carb cleaner is not going to do it soak it. It makes a huge difference. It takes that old corrosion and just makes it soft and then you're going to spray it off with the carb cleaner. Make sure you have those carb cleaners ready at hand. You're going to clean out all your jets um, and just spray it. Make sure to put some uh, safety glasses on. I didn't have safety glasses on and I wish I did because I ended up getting it in my eye. Go ahead and just take everything off. You got the main stud there. You're going to have uh, four other small screws that keep the top plate on. Uh, discard the gasket. Keep it at hand though so that you know which gasket to use on your new one. Your new kit will have a couple gaskets on it if you will. Just go ahead and take everything apart. Uh, I left my float assembly together when I soaked it because it's not a big deal. I'm going to soak it for about an hour and uh, see what happens. Um, I soaked them all up. And I went Pretty ahead and took them simple apart. process. Pretty simple I guess how to take them say. apart, I guess. Uh, this is uh, the type of kit I have, I guess. It's just a Wells uh, carburetor kit. A couple cans of gene generic carb cleaner. The idea is to get spray all of the, the cleaner off of there. Come in here, clean up whatever you can. And uh, it's a little gummy. Ethanol does that. Um, just sitting does that. Just come in here and clean off all your excess. If you don't think it's good enough, uh, this here sat for about two hours. But if you don't think it's good enough, throw it in there again. But all your little ports and valves, 
clean them out. When I reassemble, I will more so show you what I'm doing, I guess. Okay, we got the carburetor tipped upside down. We're gonna turn them in with a wrench. With a carburetor, at least with my experience, which isn't very much, you don't have to get too radical, just, just tight enough to where it, uh, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, the thing about a Ford is a piece of tin, a piece of board, a gallon of gas, you got a Ford. Don't overdo it. Here's my new seal. Go ahead and just put your cap back on after you cleaned them up a bit. Little things like this kind of keep attention to. There's a shorter screw, so I obviously have the wrong screw there. Now remember, all this stuff can be warped. So I always try to do it in a crisscross pattern. And of course I'm not tightening it up real heavy there. Us as men sometimes want to over tighten everything and there's just no need for all that nonsense. It's a good idea to get into that crisscross pattern anyways. A little BB here, pop that in here, right there. In the kit, there should be a new gasket, a seal there, just like so. And that's important, you don't want your carburetor to suck air. tight. There we go. See that little ball coming on in and out of there? It's about how you want it. It's important things you can do. The spring may or may not look just like this. In the 2100 series carburetor, um, there is some variation of different types. So just remember when you're taking it apart, uh, just kind of be mindful of doing this. Make sure to do this in a crisscross pattern. Um, it, it is important. Wanted to take a moment to dedicate this video to my Uncle Slate, who had rebuilt this carburetor back in 96 or 97 for me, with me watching over his shoulder. Probably didn't think I was paying attention whatsoever, uh, and I might not have been. Just wanted to say thank you, Uncle Slate. You mean a lot to me, and um, I appreciate you. Just slip it in here, slip it over, like so. Go ahead and take your brass rod, pop it in. You over tighten this That'll process. In the kit as so well. make sure you're doing it in a crisscross pattern and tighten it. I'm saying after tight, maybe a half a turn, maybe a full turn after tight max. Do not overdo this. This is your um, kind of an important little part of the process. Seems like it's functioning very well. Just placed him in. Now, you'll want to take this ball, and drop him in. Didn't come, this kit didn't come with a new push rod, but I just went ahead and put that in. Here's your screw. I went ahead and took that to the wire wheel. Just pop that back in again. Let's see here, where was that? 
Yeah, just like so. And like I said, there is some verity in these carburetors. The carburetor isn't as exactly as crazy as what people think it is. As long as you got your float, your float down, which we are going to tear out of here, and um, and just put a new gasket in here. There's nothing wrong with the float. I know a lot of people say Re rebuild it, rebuild it, but I am German and I cannot help it. But it's not getting rebuilt unless it's broke. Just pop him out. Not very hard. But he looks good. There's nothing wrong with this. And it never was a problem. But I'm going to go ahead and rebuild them anyways. 3 ace. Boy, that wasn't in there hardly at all. Which is good to note. Like I said, folks, I'm not a mechanic. I'm a rancher who doesn't even think he's a mechanic. There's the assembly. Pretty clean. Nothing wrong with it. But, that being said, out with the old, in with the new. Make sure to put that gasket on. If you don't have that gasket on, you're going to have some serious problems. I'm going to go ahead and blow that out quick. New piece. And I have to fight my German instincts to not just use it over again because nothing looks like it's wrong with it. In fact, it's it's soft, it's a pliable, uh, but you know what? I'm sure I'll lose it if I don't just use it. Put that new one on. Make sure it's functioning. Folks, this has so far been a very, very simple fix. If you got the time, 30 bucks, you got a new carburetor and a Ford. Just lock that in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's just a little piece in there that it just locks in. It just pushes. Look at there. There she is. And it was set perfectly. So we're going to leave it perfectly. Now, this there's going to be a few gaskets there. Which uh, don't get bent out of shape or anything like that. We're, um, In your kit, you're going to have more than one <clears throat> gasket for this. <clears throat> Just go ahead and compare it to your old gasket and uh, make sure you're installing that in correctly um, and uh, you'll make sure to put your four screws back in um, you're going to have your main stud uh, that that's going to go into the top there and I can't stress this enough but make sure to use that crisscross or an X pattern um, and don't over tighten these things just don't do it. remember we're doing all of this on a bucket a bucket and on the gravel that's how simple this is um, you can do this, folks. I just want to re-encourage you just again. This arm. Again, don't over-tighten that stud I'm that you just that seen me just put on too. there. But um, just pop that through, like so, and then put your keeper on there. Your old keepers and things like that, keep them. Keep them in a little drawer. This is the German side of me talking. Because um, if you don't, um, you pop one off something, you, you never know what's going to happen. You'll be in the hardware store for weeks looking for that thing. Perfect. It's beautiful. Now, both of these here are jets. Um, I want to say it's a turn and a half, two turns out. But we are going to crank this all the way in and count how many turns it takes to crank it. Crank it all the way in. Okay? One full turn. Two 
turns. Two and a half turns, roughly. Look at there. We are going to clean that girl up. Okay, just take it to your wire wheel, make sure not to grind it, clean it up real good and thorough. Um, you know, this this is an important little piece. Uh, remember how you put it All back in. in again? That is vital. Two and a half, and the halfway mark was right here. So there's your half mark. So let's go one, two. All right, this is your spacer. Um, just go ahead, put on your new gasket on the bottom. Um, <clears throat> and uh, don't force anything. Make sure you put it on just the exact same way you took it off. Pretty simple, straightforward process, and whatever you do, don't force anything. Uh, you can warp that carburetor, and then you'll have big problems. At this point, you're ready to put your carburetor back on and start reinstalling it. Just take your time. Don't force anything. Again, I'm, I'm going to keep stressing that. Um, <clears throat> crisscross pattern first put all your bolts on um, nuts I should say studs should be in there and uh, just snug them up nice and neat um, just go ahead and reinstall at this point here I'm putting on the choke um, I kind of marked all of that before I took it off pretty simple process um, put your choke cable back on etc la 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 um, I cannot tell you enough. This is a simple process. You are going to love this 2100 double barrel um, carburetor. Simple. Um, something that I didn't go over real um, in detail, clean out your jets with that um, uh, carb cleaner. Just go ahead and do it. Make sure you're doing a thorough job. You want those jets cleaned out perfectly. Pop the jets out. I didn't go over that real good. Um, just take them out with a screwdriver. Nothing has to be overly tight. You're not torquing that, things up. When you're tightening everything up, make sure that you're doing it right. Use some Teflon tape. Um, <clears throat> you don't want fuel leaks or vacuum. Let's cross our fingers just for luck. <laughs> Literally, I just jumped in it, started her up. Now, I forgot something really important. I forgot to put the tag back on there, and that is telling you the type of carburetor it is, and it's just, you know, a factory thing that was on there from the factory. So, make sure to put that on there if you don't have it. Um, I don't think they're making those anymore, and, um, I mean, it's part of history, so just keep her... Keep her in mind. Well, this to put took it back about on. an hour total. Um, I guess I didn't hold any punches. Pretty much did it all. Didn't screw up anything, really. Um, yeah, I would say this is a very, very simple, simple fix. If you like these videos, please hit that thumbs up. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to my family. Um, subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, I, I know I'm kind of like lightning. I don't hit any place in the same spot twice, I guess, but... Uh, I'm all over the place, but hey, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Very much appreciate that.